Hey fellow Bits of History fans, um, a quick reply to a comment made by Richard Wyatt on my second video about the London beer flood. Today Richard, I am wearing a shirt, it's a Black Sabbath shirt. It's creased up and I'm as hot as hell because this room is boiling, so thanks to you I'm sweating, my hair looks shit, but at least you know, my beauty won't distract you Richard. <laughs> After all, this is bits of sexy history. Today, though, <laughs> disregarding all that, to everyone else, you know, um, you know, I am actually that vain, but um, to everyone else, let's talk about Sparta. And Richard, if you're still there, you can listen as well. So, in my first episode, I, to I spoke to you about Philip II and Cleopatra's wedding, where his son Alexander the Great dashed a cup at his friend's head, and then went his own way, you know. But I also touched upon the fact that Philip II never conquered Sparta. He never bothered with it. That's not what he, he did bother with it, but very, very briefly. So let's talk about Sparta for a second. Um, in all my years of researching Sparta, it amazes me because they have a legacy of, you know, these hard assed brutal warriors, people that are completely and utterly concerned only with war, and yet they don't win many of their wars, <laughs> they, they actually don't, like, I might be completely wrong here, but it seems to me that they actually win about 30%, 40% of their, of their wars, like, everyone loses a lot of battles, but the wars are the significant thing, they do lose a lot of battles, but they also you know, win wars where they previously lost battles, but um, yeah, they they do win a lot. Of that, 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 sorry, they do lose a lot of wars. But the problem with Sparta, because even if you have got a seventy percent, sixty percent chance of beating the Spartans, that's a thirty percent or forty percent chance of being completely and utterly fucking obliterated. Because when the Spartans, sorry, one second. Because <laughs> when the Spartans win, they fucking destroy it. Like, they will destroy their enemy. So we've got Philip II. He's conquered his way through Greece. You know, the, the further into Greece he gets, the less wars he actually has, to, the less battles he actually has to fight. Because, um, basically the Greeks... There are obviously news news spreads. They're all hearing about the losses that they're taking. So when he rolls upon their city, they're starting to open their gates and just be like, "Yeah, come on, come on in, mate." Because what's the point? What's the point in fighting you? <laughs> You're gonna win. And it's also quite a sensible move. I I believe anyway, because uh, if you're in power, you want to keep. You want to stay in power, you know. So if you just let him in for the door and say, "Look, you know, I will." pay you all the taxes and tributes that you need, I will call you king, you know, but keep me in power, uh, I'll, I'll be your faithful servant. That way, if Philip II ever has to go back to Macedonia, for whatever reasons, maybe, some, maybe a neighbour of his is now attempting to uprise, or someone's attacking his homeland, the spot, like the, 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 basically the Greek kings, the Greek leaders can then just go, right, well, the Macedonians are gone, put men back on them walls, and if they ever come around again, this time we'll fucking have them, like, we'll get rid of them, there's no point, there's no point taking them this time, because we have pretty much lost, but we can get them next time, maybe, if there's a next time, so it's a sensible move, because all your soldiers are going to be loyal to you as well, because you never surrendered their lives, just to try to save yours, and, and they're probably going to be a little bit pissed off that they've been ruled by a Macedonian for all this time, so... They're going to want to fight for you because you're a Greek. You were their previous leader or king. And they want to re have that, you know, retain that Greek pride. The Spartans, though, they're not famed for their <laughs> sensibility. They don't give a shit about it. Like, what they give a shit about is winning wars. <laughs> Even if they don't win them all the time. At least they fucking tried. That is what most concerns the Spartans. So we've got Philip II... I think he is a little bit aware of the fact that 
Sparta is a formidable foe. Like, if he has to go to Sparta, if he just rocks up on their doorstep and they don't open the gates and they do want to fight, maybe they'll start winning. And if they start winning, the rest of the Greeks will then, you know, they're surrounded by Greeks. They're then going to notice a weakness in Philip II's army. Of you know, Philip II of Macedonia, they're going to notice a weakness in his army. So there was a Philip II of Spain, so I want to make sure that you definitely know we're talking about the Macedonian one. But they're going to notice a weakness in this army, and then they're going to be like, okay, well, now we can fucking have him right now, you know, <laughs> let's, let's, let's take him. And then it's just going to be another name to a dead guy who ever bothered to attempt to take Sparta, you know. And I do feel a little bit sorry for Philip II as well, because he did, this is a massive achievement, you know, what what he's made so far. And yet he completely is forgotten in history, because Alexander the Great, his son, was so much better than him. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's Philip II's problem. Not ours. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, what he does is, instead, rather than just rocking up on their doorstep, he sends a message to Sparta. And the message is this. If I win this war, you will be slaves forever. You are advised to submit without further delay. For if I bring my army into your land, I will destroy your farms, slay your people, and raise your city. What he's basically saying there is, if I have to come over there, I will fuck you up. <laughs> I will fuck you sideways. You know, <laughs> you will be absolutely fucked. Unless, of course, you say... All right, I'm coming in, you know, and then and then we're square, we're square, and now Philip the Second's probably thinking these are people who like to fight. I reckon we're gonna have a bit of exchange in messages of threats, and hopefully I can just make the you know the biggest threat uh, to to put them off, and I won't have to fight them. Spartans don't really care about that. If anything, they put a flaw in that plan because you know. I don't really like sending messages, neither. <laughs> I mean, you could just imagine the messenger who's gone there. He's probably he's recited this message to the Spartans, and now he's just standing there looking at their stone-cold faces, waiting for an answer, just in his mind thinking, please don't kick me down a fucking well. <laughs> like, <laughs> please, please don't do that. <laughs> I'm just a messenger, you know? Um, the Spartans give him their reply though so he's probably just relieved uh, he's so happy to be leaving Sparta without any wells uh, <laughs> being <laughs> coming into his view <laughs> um, he gets back to Philip II and I can imagine Philip II sitting there waiting for this reply he sees a messenger running sweating hot relieved <laughs> at his home <laughs> and he's kind of like alright come give me the message give me the message what does Spartan say like are they going to let us in or you know, is it more trash talk? Because this is what he basically sent them. It was trash talk. It was like, you know, I'm bigger and better. My dad's my dad's better than you. I'm going to fuck you up. You know, it's trash talk. But um, he's waiting, expecting the Spartans to deliver the same shit. Instead, though, what he gets is the word, if. Now that's, that, <laughs> that's all they said to the messenger. That's all they said. Go back and tell your Philip II we said, if like because <laughs> remember in Philip II's first um, message, it's if I win this war. Like that's all the Spartans. I think that's all the Spartans heard. They didn't give a shit about you will be slaves forever. We're gonna fuck your army. We're gonna fuck your farms and fuck your people. Like they didn't give a fuck about any of that. All they heard was if I win this war, and <laughs> he just thought, yeah. If <laughs> the Spartans are so assured of themselves, they know Philip the Second of Macedonia has a fucking huge army behind him. They know that Greece has pretty much been conquered by Philip the Second, and yet they're still <laughs> testing him. You know, if if you win this war, come at me, bro. Do you seriously think you're hard enough? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and that's, we've got to love the Spartans for that anyway. Like. <laughs> Even if they do lose quite a bit of their wars, <laughs> you got you got to admire their attitude. Philip the Second of Macedonia and Alexander the Great never bother going to Sparta. They never bother attacking it. I don't know if they were put off by this one-worded 
reply. Uh, I mean, because you could just imagine reading this word, and um, one of the Spartans, is, you know, if it was written down, so he just opens up, opens up his message, you know, if, if, and then underneath there's a little picture of a middle finger. <laughs> so you could just imagine that, or a Spartan soldier bending over a Macedonian and giving him a good scene too. You could just imagine that is that is the Spartan attitude, but um. I want you to, though, please, actually, please don't, because I don't want to be responsible for anything bad that happens to people. But if if you are willing, you know, if, if you're working, I don't know, like a supermarket or something, and your manager turns around to you and says, if we catch you stealing, or if we, you know, catch you being abusive to customers again, you will get fired. You just turn around to him and just go, if... <laughs> <laughs> you'll probably lose your job. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But it would be funny, right? What a way to go. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway. You know, every, everyone loves the Spartans. You've got to. The Spartans are fantastic. Massive, massive fucking arseholes. But they are awesome. So as always, peace and love. Stay safe. And hopefully I'll get to talk to you all soon.